Hello guys, it's Gucci here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a basic XR uh, PC slash JRPC tool. So first thing is first, open up Microsoft Visual Studio. We want to create a new project. Um, we're going to be naming ours. Uh, let's just do YouTube. Uh, JTAG tool and this is going to be in C sharp so yes I'm going to be going over all the basic things that you need and how to get this started basically so let's just wait while this creates the project you guys are also gonna need some DLLs which will be provided in the description below all three of these for today's tutorial and I'll be back when this has completed alright we're back it has successfully created so what you're gonna do now references right click that add reference I'm gonna go into my recents and I'm gonna add all the ones that I need which these three and then I'm gonna add this one so I'm going to be making my form a metro form all right, and if you guys would like a tutorial on how to get .NET bar and everything for free, um, just comment below and I'll do a tutorial on that. All right, next, what I'm going to do, you're going to double click it, the form, go to the code basically, and we're going to be putting using XRPC lib, using JRPC client, and using X dev kit all right and then I'm gonna change this to dot net bar metro form okay so this is how your form should look today we're going to be going over basic you know connection yeah how to connect to your JTAG so let's just name let's name this form YouTube and the source code will be in the description over what we went today um, YouTube uh, JTAG tool okay now I'm just gonna make it a little bit uh, pretty this is what I like to do um, let's get a group box let's put this right here I'm gonna name this controls Okay, I'm gonna make this about yeah that big. Put it there. Let's name it connect. And I like to add uh, icons to them, so we're gonna go to add import. And I have a lot of icons already pre-downloaded. Connect. Okay. All right. So let's double tap that. And what we're gonna do? Oh, can't forget this. We're going to do XRPC JTAG equals new XRPC. And we're also going to do I Xbox console and then console. Console. Yeah, all right. This is for, you know, JRPC and the X dev kit. And this is for XRPC. I use both because both of them have a lot of different things in them that, you know, will help you and shit. So go to connect, do jtag.connect, then do if jtag.active connection, do the brackets, and we're going to, um, we're just going to rename button, button one's text, text equals reconnect. Now, I can't test this myself, but this will guarantee work. And if you want to add an else statement, if it doesn't connect, button one re.text equals failed to connect. All right. So that's basically it for the connect option. This should work. Connect. It will work. But. I currently do not have a JTAG or RGH. I just make tools for fun. I have a bunch of tools. 
that I plan to release <clears throat> once I start to get my name up there a little bit, get known. Uh, let's just let this start up. I don't know why Visual Studio 2017 is just so glitchy and stuff. And it's probably because my computer also sucks, so. And make sure you guys go check out my website. And here we go. There's the basic program. Whoops. Oh, my gosh. There's you connect. But if I click it, it will crash the program. <laughs> As you see, it's like, dude, you don't have a JTAG. All right. So that's basically it for that. And I'm going to sh also do sh uh, shut down console. I'll add another options. This is going to be a multi cod tool actually. So we're going to do shut down console. All right. Let's see if I got any any things for this. Um Let's go ahead and use the minus. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the minus. Shut down console. Double tap that. We're going to do uh, console dot shut down console. And that's pretty much it. And it'll shut down your console. Um, we can add another button. We're actually going to make uh, AX notify real quick. So let's just drag that over here. Uh, hold up. I'm just trying to get this aligned and everything. Probably like right there. So let's get a text box now. Um, right here. Okay, make sure that's all good. All right. Send X notify. And we're just going to make a watermark text. Okay, I just put something simple like that. Welcome to my tool. Whoops. All right. Let's go ahead and match up all the buttons and everything. Same with this one. Just have everything the same size. All right, let's go ahead and find an icon for this one. I don't really know what we do, but I'm just going to probably put an I. Syndex notify. Eh, mm, probably have a better one. Uh, maybe an Xbox? No. Um, I'm going to do... Um, yeah, I'm just going to do the I. Syndex notify. So what we're going to do now is JTAG dot X or notify all right and the type of logo you want so do that dot you can do whatever you want um flashing xbox logo i'm gonna do a happy face and then text box one dot text all right so this is, does not contain a definition for Oh, capitalize that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So that will work now. If you just click this button, it will send a an X notify to your console with a flashing happy face and whatever you typed in here. Let's go ahead and give this program a run. And in my next tutorials, when I get my JTAG and my Elgato set up, these tutorials will become way better. And that's it for this tutorial. It's been 10 minutes. Hope you guys understand everything. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be pumping out these. I'm probably going to make a new one after this. This is part one, probably like part 10. All right. So that's it for this basic tutorial. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.